So Google just pulled the trigger on what it's calling the biggest upgrade in Chrome's history. The browser that dominates the internet is being rebuilt as an AI system with Gemini wired directly into it. One of the most striking changes is context awareness. Chrome now studies everything you search, read, and watch, learning your patterns so closely that it can predict what you'll want next and respond as if it already knows your intentions. On top of that, it can process pages in real time, bring back sites you visited days ago, and tie directly into YouTube, Maps, and Calendar. It blocks scams before they load, rewrites compromised passwords, and what's coming next pushes it even further, an autonomous browsing agent that can quietly run multi-step tasks in the background, waiting only for your final confirmation before it executes. All right, so the centerpiece here is Gemini, Google's AI model that's now fully baked into Chrome. It used to be something you had to pay for, a subscriber-only perk, but that wall is gone. Now, if you're using Chrome on Mac or Windows in the United States with your language set to English, Gemini is right there in your browser, and soon it'll expand to Android and iOS, so mobile won't be left out. There's even a shortcut coming where on Android, you can hold down the power button and summon Gemini instantly. On iOS, it's going to be built straight into the Chrome app itself. So what does Gemini in Chrome actually do? Well, it's not just answering trivia questions. It reads and understands the page you're on. It can compare across multiple tabs, and it can even recall websites you visited last week without you needing to dig through your history. Let's say you were shopping for a walnut desk a few days ago. You can literally just ask Gemini, what was the site with that walnut desk I saw? And it'll bring it back. That's context awareness built right into your browsing. And it's not only about your tabs. Gemini ties into the rest of Google's ecosystem, so it can jump to a specific point in a YouTube video, drop something into your Google Calendar, or pull location info from Maps without you ever leaving the page you're on. In one demo, someone was browsing and asked Gemini to take them to a certain moment in a video, and it happened instantly. So this isn't just about surfing the web anymore. It's Chrome talking directly with the rest of Google's services. Now, this whole redesign is being described as the biggest since Chrome launched back in 2008. And the company isn't shy about calling it a fundamental shift. They're saying the browser is moving away from being a passive tool that just renders pages towards something that understands the web itself, helps you get more done, and keeps you safer while you're doing it. Parisa Tabriz, one of Chrome's VPs, even said this is fundamentally changing the nature of browsing. One of the most obvious new things people will see is what's called AI mode in the Omni box. That's Chrome's address bar. Normally, you'd type short search queries or URLs there. Now you can type full, complex questions. And you don't even have to leave the page you're on to get an answer. If you're on a product page, Chrome will not only summarize what you're looking at, but might suggest follow-up questions like, what's the warranty policy? or compare battery life. This is already rolling out in English for United States users, and it'll expand to more countries and languages later. AI mode also acts as a direct line to what Google calls its most powerful AI search. You're not just throwing keywords at Google search anymore. You can ask multi-part questions, follow up with clarifications, and keep drilling deeper all without switching context. And this is a big deal because it positions the browser itself, not just the search engine, as the place where AI lives. That's a strategic shift for Google since Chrome has always been the funnel that feeds search, and now it's becoming the funnel for AI. These days, generating code is easy. The real challenge is making sure it's production ready. CodeRabbit, who's sponsoring today's video, gives you AI-powered reviews in your terminal before bad code slips through. With CodeRabbit CLI, you don't have to wait until a pull request to catch issues. You can review both staged and unstaged changes right inside the terminal. It checks for bugs, security vulnerabilities, performance bottlenecks, missing tests, and even flags AI hallucinations before they ever get committed. It works seamlessly with all the popular CLI coding agents, Claude Code, Cursor CLI, Gemini, and more. So when your AI generates code, CodeRabbit instantly acts as the quality layer on top. You can even hand review context back to your agent for automated fixes or apply suggestions instantly with a single command. That means less rework, fewer broken builds, and a much smoother path to production. 
CodeRabbit has already reviewed over 10 million pull requests and is the most installed AI app on GitHub. Now it's available free right in your terminal. Install it today with the link below. Another big development that's coming soon, though not fully live yet, is what Google calls agentic browsing. This is essentially Gemini acting as a proper AI agent. In practice, that means it can take multi-step tasks and carry them out for you in the background. They showed examples like booking a haircut appointment, filling up a grocery cart from a list in your email, or even writing out a message. The agent is designed to keep working while you do other things in the browser, so it can go through all the tedious clicking and form filling for you, but importantly, it won't push through irreversible actions on its own. That means no sending emails or checking out with your credit card without your explicit approval. This agent idea isn't brand new. Google had an earlier test project under the code name Project Mariner, and you've probably heard about OpenAI's operator, or Anthropic's Claude for Chrome. They've been experimenting with the same concept. The difference here is scale and integration. Google's betting it can make the Chrome agent more reliable and more native to the browser experience since it's been developing it for close to a year, and they've even been working on an agentic payments protocol called AP2, which could eventually let AI agents handle pre-authorized payments. That's not here yet, but you can see where this is heading. Security and safety are another huge angle in this overhaul. Chrome already had safe browsing, but now Gemini Nano, a lighter version of the Assistant, is embedded directly into it. This lets Chrome spot scams more effectively, like fake support pop-ups, bogus virus alerts, or fraudulent giveaways. Google claims that with these AI-powered protections, Chrome on Android alone has cut down about 3 billion scammy or spammy notifications every single day, and that's a massive number. Permissions and notifications are also getting smarter. Instead of hitting you with endless prompts for camera, microphone, or location access, Chrome now factors in your past preferences and the quality of the site itself. So if the AI thinks you're unlikely to grant a request, it presents it in a less intrusive way or blocks spammy notifications outright. The whole goal is to reduce unnecessary friction while still keeping you in control. Passwords are getting an upgrade too, Chrome already alerts you if your saved credentials have been compromised, but soon it will act like a password agent. That means on supported sites like Spotify, Duolingo, H&M, Coursera, and more, you'll be able to change your password in one click. No more hunting for the right settings page on every site. You hit the button and it does the work for you. But beyond the features, it's worth stepping back and seeing why Google is doing this. Chrome has always been more than just a browser for Google. It's a key piece of its search empire. Every time someone installs Chrome, it nudges them to set Google Search as default. That has kept its search dominance intact, and the browser also feeds Google with valuable user data to refine its search algorithms. This strategy has worked so well that Chrome became part of a major antitrust case in the United States, where the Justice Department even suggested Google might have to divest Chrome. That didn't happen, but the scrutiny was real. Now, with AI taking over, Google is clearly using Chrome to build the same kind of flywheel effect for Gemini that it once built for Search. And you can see why it matters. OpenAI has ChatGPT, Anthropic has Claude, uh, Microsoft has Copilot deeply embedded in Windows and Edge, and all of these are trying to be the front door to AI. Google doesn't want Chrome to just sit there as a dumb window to the web while everyone else builds AI entry points. By weaving Gemini into Chrome at every level, from the Omnibox to your tabs to your security, it ensures that the browser itself becomes the main gateway to Google's AI ecosystem. Now, to be fair, some of these features will land better than others. Google is hyping up stuff like ordering groceries with Gemini, but let's be real, that's not going to be the killer feature everyone is waiting for. The real impact will come from the quiet, everyday things, like smarter tab management, the ability to summarize complex articles instantly, or protection from scams that actually works in the background without you noticing. Those are the kind of features that can fundamentally change how people feel about their browser. Right now, all of this is rolling out first in the United States, in English, and mostly on Mac and Windows desktops.
mobile will follow, enterprise users via Workspace will get it with added protections, and other languages and regions are on the roadmap, though Google hasn't given exact timelines. And the stakes are high. If Chrome becomes the AI browser by default, then for the majority of the world's internet users, Gemini becomes their first AI experience. That's the kind of positioning every AI company wants. And Google is in the unique spot to actually pull it off because of Chrome's reach. It's not guaranteed, of course. People may push back if the features feel intrusive or gimmicky, but Google is betting that the convenience and security angle will outweigh those concerns. But yeah, Chrome is becoming an AI-driven platform, one where your browser is less about typing a URL and more about talking to an assistant that can actually get stuff done for you. But what's your take on this shift? Exciting upgrade or the start of something we might regret? Leave a comment, subscribe, and like the video. Thanks for watching and catch you in the next one.